What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Blue walkthrough. In the last episode, we saved Mr. Fuji from the top of the Pokemon Tower, and then made our way down Cycling Road, beating up all the tough cyclers. I'm just kidding, they really weren't that tough, you know, they were all talk, no actual, like, battling skill. And anyways, we are going to head through this gate onto Route 18, but just to show you up here, there is a trade you can do with this guy. He's looking for a slow bro, and uh, if you do give him a slow bro, he will give you a Lickitung. So yeah, if you want to do that trade, go ahead. Lickitung, not too bad, just, you know, keep in mind it doesn't evolve in this game. But right over here is Route 18. Now, Route 18 is super small as you could probably tell we just have three little bird keepers to battle starting off with this guy yeah that dude just had four pokemon so i went ahead and cut that battle out but yeah no new pokemon a really small patch of grass just three of these guys to fight you don't even have to come in here if you don't want to you can head straight to fuchsia city but you know i might as well fight them for the experience and we're actually not even going to be um exploring fuchsia city in this episode i'm actually going to um head back to lavender town and go south from there and take care of all the routes in uh in between lavender and fuchsia because there's a whole nother route that you could have taken as i've said in the previous episodes to get to fuchsia city so we will be starting on that journey that's right i'm calling it a journey because there's like four routes from Lavender to Fuchsia. I'm hoping to get through um, Route 12 in this video, and then maybe like 13 and 14 in the next one, and then by the episode after that, we will be in Fuchsia, hopefully. And again, Fuchsia City is where the fifth gym is at. Keep in mind, the levels, I believe, are in like the high 30s, or maybe Koga has a couple of Pokemon in the 40s. I can't remember exactly, but uh, yeah, you might want to... Um, take the route south of Lavender, even if it is pretty long, um, but it, it is a, a good place to grind for the gym. However, if you have a Psychic type, you should be fine. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, uh, it is a Poison type gym, so Alakazam, Hypno, Kadabra, any of those guys will probably be fine if they're still in like the mid-30s, but for me, I don't have a Psychic type. Sure, I do have Psybeam on Butterfree, but yeah, I doubt it that's going to, you know, completely cut it, especially since in this game, Poison is super effective on Bug, which is just great. Um, anyways, here's the last guy on this route. He has a Dodrio. Not sure if we've seen one of these yet. Um, too bad he is going to be taken down. There we go. Also, another exciting thing in this video is uh, that we'll be getting Ninetales. So, yeah, I gotta withdraw the Firestone from the PC here in just a second. But, yeah, once we get to level 35 and get Flamethrower on Vulpix... We will immediately be evolving him, but for now, as I said, Route 18 is very short. As you can see, that is it for this place. So, we got a wild Pokemon, and you know what? I might as well just cut back to Lavender Town. Alright, so I am currently standing on the bottom of Lavender Town, and if you head south, you can see we change into Route 12, which is a nice little route, um, basically filled with bridges, and you're just walking over the water the entire time. Now, in this little first section, there's really nothing to do. Um, I feel like there's another trade you can do up here. I don't know. Hang on. I might be totally wrong. Maybe it's an item. I swear you can get something up here. Uh, yeah, here we go. You can have this TM. TM39. I knew there was something. My senses were tingling. Now, let me double check. What TM is that? TM39 is swift. Okay, not too bad. Normal type move. Never misses. Um, also, you probably could tell there, or maybe you couldn't, um, because let's be honest, who really pays attention to how many, um, how many items someone has in their bag, but I did stock up on more Super Repels and Lemonades while I was off camera, and in between cuts there, I picked up the Firestone, like I said I would, and now we are going to be fighting a bunch of fishermen, which is not good, because we have Pixie out here. Luckily, their Pokemon are going to be pretty low leveled because you can actually come to this section of Route 12 before you even go to Celadon. Like, as soon as you get to Lavender Town, you can come down here and fight some of these trainers. Um, however, we will run into that Snorlax again, which you can't clear until you get the Poke Flute. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, if you want even some more extra training before Erica or something, 
be sure to uh, check out this little small portion of Route 12. Anyways, Poliwag. Okay, I think Pixie can handle that. I really just want him to get up one level because we are so close to becoming a Ninetales and we can, you know, stop looking at this hideous sprite on the screen. Also, I wonder what does more damage, Ember or Quick Attack? Quick Attack just isn't Stab and Pixie's more of a special attacker, but let's see anyways. Um, oh wow, oh that was a crit, okay that makes sense, I was about to say. I, I was about to be like, wow I feel really dumb for using Ember, oh and he got a crit right back, isn't that just lovely? Anyways, down goes the Poliwag, and uh, last up he's got another Goldeen, so we're just gonna do some more switch training, this is a great route for our boy Venusaur. And there's also a very nice item that you can get on this route. And it may or may not have something to do with my next team member. That's right. We could be getting a new Mon here in this video as well. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, we took down this guy, Pixie. Hopefully is uh, getting pretty close to leveling up. Because, yeah, he's just kind of lagging behind in terms of stats and everything. Also, there's an item that's just, like, teasing us right there. Um, but, yeah, Pixie, we need him to evolve so bad. But the fishermen over here just do not help, man. They do not help whatsoever with all their freaking water types. Uh, this guy just has two mons, though. It is a tentacool. Um, hmm. You know what? I think we can give it a quick attack, right? I'm pretty sure they have better special defense anyways. Or I guess in this game, special. Uh, yeah, there's a crit. Okay, Pixie, I see you. Would you like to get uh, one more of those? Especially because Water Gun did a ton of damage. Honestly, if we don't kill... Okay, good, we killed. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, if we don't kill, it might kill us. Um, Alright, I guess we'll just keep on switch training from here on out. I don't really feel like using a Lemonade. I mean, well, I should. I should, you know. Can't neglect my boy Bullpix like that. Also, I love how these Goldings keep on predicting that I'm going out into my grass type by going for Peck because Gen 1 AI, it can be really dumb sometimes, but then it can be like super crazy and like predict, you know, you doing damage and then the trainer healing them up on that same turn, which is wild. Um, I'm sure we'll see that in one of the gym battles coming up because I feel like it always happens towards the end. Anyways, nothing up there, so let's continue on down. We got a guy right here. Might as well take him on. Did he say the fishing fool versus the kid? I don't know. I clicked A too fast, but that's what it looked like. That's a cool showdown right there. That should be like a TV show. The fishing fool versus the kid. I mean, you know, the fishing fool is like the freaking underdog that everyone knows is going to lose. I mean, let's be real. The Pokemon trainer over here, everyone knows he's going to win. He's the protagonist. You know, it's us. We're the main character. So, of course, we're going to take that dub. Um, yeah, Razor Leaf, just gonna one shot. Let's get it, baby. And, uh, yeah, so far, pretty easy. Volpix, you gonna level up yet? No, Volpix. Oh, so sad, so sad. All right, it's fine, it's fine. He's gonna get there, I promise. And if not, like, then I'll fight a wild Pokemon at the very end of this episode or something. Speaking of the wild Pokemon here, um, you can get Venonat a little later on, despite there being, like, no grass right now. There's actually a uh, tree that you can cut down towards the end of this route that will um, open up some grass to you and you can get Venonat. Yeah, Venonat is a bug poison type, you know, pretty good, evolves into Venomoth, um, so I would, uh, I would recommend it, I guess, if you do want yourself a bug type or a poison type. Anyways, despite switch training for all four of those guys' Pokemon, Bullpig still didn't level up. But uh, right here, yeah, right here is going to be the Snorlax. Now, this is the second Snorlax that we have encountered, of course. This could also be your first Snorlax, depending on which way you came to Fuchsia City. And keep in mind, you can only get Snorlax twice. So if you failed to catch the one back at Celadon, or if you just want to catch this one here, make sure that you, uh, you know, don't kill it by accident. Maybe drop a save before you play that Pokemon Flute. And here we go, we're gonna kill the Snorlax for the experience. And the time has finally come. Pixie is getting Flame Thrower. Thank goodness, we're gonna drop Ember in a heartbeat. I could get rid of like Tail Whip or something, but Flame Thrower, I mean, it's 15 PP. Super good move, it's good enough. Like, I don't think we'd ever use Ember again. But now that Snorlax is gone, we can continue on Route 12. But before we do anything else, 
You already know I'm using that fire stone. Let's go, baby. Here we go. What? Pixie is evolving. That's right. Pixie is evolving. And yeah, this is just going to be a huge buff in stats. Like I said, Ninetales is going to be a beast. There we go. Look at that. Ninetales and all its beauty with all its nine tails. Let's go. But yeah, now that we have evolved him, let's put Sprout Jr. back up to the front. And uh, Pixie, you can take a break. Now to the left right there is uh, going to lead you back to Route 11 and Vermilion City. Which, uh, yeah, if you remember when we covered Route 11, we checked out that Snorlax and obviously couldn't do anything at that point. But yeah, this uh, kind of connects back to Vermilion. So defeating that Snorlax actually opens up like a nice little uh, connection point. And I guess it's a, a nice little checkpoint as well because you don't have to go all the way back up to Lavender Town. You can just head straight over to Vermilion City. Anyways, we're taking on this, uh, I think, rocker right here. I forgot to look at the sprite, but I think he's holding, like, some wires or something. These guys are crazy. They're kind of like the technician uh, trainer sprite as well. Oh, and he has an electrode. I don't know if we've seen an electrode yet, but, you know, evolved form of Voltorb. Pretty scary because it can, like, blow up, and it's super fast. So uh, don't be surprised if it's, like, critting you with every single hit. Um, he also went for a light screen, but we got a crit, so it doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll finish him off with Body Slam then. Why the heck not? And there we go, level 36 for Sprout Jr. And let's see, what is he holding? Yeah, it looks like, no, I think it's like a whip. Or I don't know, he said unplugged, so maybe it's a wire. It's one of the two. But let's go ahead and put Butta back up front. And as you can see down here, there is a house. And this is the house that I have been waiting for. If you head inside, you're going to see a uh, fishing guru. And he's actually, well, he's the fishing guru's brother. And just answer yes to the question, do you like fishing? And he gives you the super rod. Now, it's funny because you, um, if you come this way, you get the super rod before the good rod. Because you don't get the good rod until Fuchsia City. So now there's really no point in getting the good rod, but I'm actually going to use the super rod to find my fifth team member, and this might take a second, so I will be right back, unless we find him right here, it'd be kind of crazy, because I think it's only like a 25% chance, yeah, it's just a Magikarp. And here is a Krabby, that is right, Krabby is going to be the fifth Mon that is coming on to the team. I already went for a tackle, so we'll go ahead and chuck a great ball at him. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Yes, sir. One Pokeball for Krabby. And honestly, I have a pretty basic nickname for it, but I still like it. But I'm sure, you know, Krabby has been called this so many times. But we are going to call him Mr. Krabs. That is right. Um, this should fit, right? Yeah. And Krabs is spelled with a K, right, in SpongeBob? Boy, I sure hope I don't screw that up. That'd be embarrassing, especially since I watched uh, SpongeBob when I was younger. But anyways, it's only level 15, which does kind of suck. Most of the Pokemon that you can find when fishing, they're going to be kind of a lower level than uh, the wild Pokemon that are around here. But uh, still, we will get him trained up. He's now 20 levels behind, so I know we kind of just got done switch training Vulpix, but we're going to have to do some more that is right so uh let's quickly take a look at mr krabs let me just see what he has so far he's got bubble and a leer what a move set don't worry krabby will be much better um especially because in fuchsia city we will be getting the hm for surf so that will definitely help him out and um yeah krabby will evolve i, I think it's in like the high 20s or something uh, maybe i could be wrong about that Right here, we'll cut down this tree, and this leads to a trainer and an item. Um, it's not the patch of grass that I talked about in a minute ago, um, or that I talked about a minute ago. I'm speaking too fast, man. But, uh, yeah. Okay, look, we have a Magikarp. Um, oh, I would take this on with Mr. Krabs, but uh, he only has bubbles, so, yeah, that would take way too long. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited to use a Krabby. I've never used one before. It's a plain water type, but I definitely... Um, needed a water type on the team especially to use moves like surf because you do need surf in order to beat the game and also an interesting thing about Krabby is that 
it can learn every single HM in the game besides, I think it's Flash. Like, this man can literally learn Cut, Surf, Strength. Um, what else is there? Rock Smash? No, Rock Smash isn't in this game. Um, is that it? Are those the only HMs? I guess there is only, what, five, I think? But, um, yeah, if you're looking for an HM Pokemon for your team and you need to teach it, like, three HMs, there you go. Right there is Krabby. Um, speaking of fishing and all that good stuff, some more Pokemon you can find on this route through the Super Rod is, like, Goldeen, uh, Tentacool, Horsey, Seedra, or actually, they might be in only Pokemon Yellow. I can't really remember. Um, you can also get, like, Poliwag. So, yeah, get used to seeing those Pokemon a lot if you are going to fish. Um, they're basically going to be able to be caught on, like, every single route. Um, I won't be teaching Cut to um, Krabby. We already have uh, our Bellsprout anyways. So, uh, or is it an Oddish? I really can't remember. We caught this cut Pokemon so long ago. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna be getting better moves later on, like I said. Like, Krabby will get Vice Grip and stuff, which is just a pretty good normal type move. And we could teach it Strength. I'm not really sure. Obviously, I'll give it Surf, but I don't know what, uh, what other HMs I will give him, if I'm going to give him any more. Because I don't know if I want two HMs on one Pokemon, you know? That might be a little bit overboard. But, um, yeah, as I was saying about evolving, too, he will become a Kingler. I think it's in the late 20s, so before he's even caught up with the rest of the team, he will already be a Kingler. Now, I know he's far behind, but I don't want to do any um, off-screen grinding. I said that at the start of the series. I want to try and make this a bit more of a challenging playthrough. So we're just going to be grinding him out here, and I think this is a uh, perfect place to do it. We've got you know, these four routes right here with a ton of trainers. So, yeah, that's another thing. If you're looking to train up um, a new team member, this is the place to do it before you reach the next city. Anyways, this guy has a Nidorino. We usually just see the, the pre-evolutions, but uh, that's pretty cool. And he says, ow, really? I didn't even touch you. If anything, the Pokemon are the ones getting hurt. Anyways, here is the cut tree I was talking about earlier. Um, there's no items there, though. You can just uh, cut it down and reach that grass where you can find some Pokemon. And that little change right there, you kind of see how it like pauses for a second. That means that we are going to Route 13 because, yeah, in these games, they don't have um, the little thing that comes down from the top of the screen when a area changes. But, yeah, we are now in Route 13, so we just have some more trainers to fight. And Route 13 is pretty annoying. I won't be covering it all in this video, like I said. But there's like a maze of fences, dude. It is so bad with just a bunch of trainers. And I'll cover the Pokemon you can get in the next episode. For now, I think we'll take on this lady and then I'll probably call it a day here. Um, because, I don't know, why the heck not? It seems like a good stopping point. We're almost off of this little bridge section anyways. And uh, yeah, down goes that gold dean. And I can't wait to be done with all the water types because they really don't help out Mr. Krabs. Um, let's see, you have a Poliwag coming up. We will just continue to switch train. But, um, yeah, that means um, now that we have Mr. Krabs, we only have one more Pokemon to uh, catch for my team. I think I've mentioned this before, but I am going to get a full team of six. I know some people will maybe get, like, four or five Pokemon and then have one Pokemon as, like, Death Fodder or an HM's. Um, but, no, I will be getting a full team of six, and... I won't be getting that sixth team member until I don't want to give out like an exact location. It'll be before the seventh gym. There you go. So yeah, we're heading to the fifth gym and by the seventh gym, I will have that sixth team member. So be on the lookout for that. Maybe uh, put down some of your guesses in the comment section and we are really getting double slapped and we cannot wake up. Okay, screw this. I'm cutting this out. I mean, look at this, look at this, right here. Butter got all the way down to five hit points because we couldn't wake up forever. So, uh, yeah, I think that's just a sign to go ahead and call it a day here. I gotta go back and heal up pretty badly. And as I said, in the next episode, we will continue on. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.